This is Taylor Fritz, and this is what I eat. I mean, what a pitch. Relationship with food, it's, it's not too bad. I think it, it definitely changes a lot when I'm at home versus traveling, playing tournaments. I, I think when I was younger, I definitely like would, would eat a lot and put myself to the point of like painfully full, but now I think I understand more just, you know, eat, <laughs> eat, eat a, a healthy amount of food. Sometimes I'll just go down to breakfast and get like a, an omelet and like a omelet, bread, stuff like that, and then sometimes I'm kind of going to stay in bed a bit, I'll just order in and get like a coffee and like a breakfast sandwich, something like that. When I'm at home, I, I, I stick to pretty much the same thing, like I have egg whites, I have the occasional like, I guess, unhealthy breakfast that I get to enjoy when I'm, when I'm home. I love having uh, breakfast burritos when I'm home, that's like something that I can't really get uh, elsewhere. For lunch, I normally have like a chicken and rice, a sandwich. It's this big difference in diet between like when I'm like getting ready for a tournament and when I'm like kind of just like chilling at home. Like I let the diet be way more lax when I'm home. But So one thing like I'm always trying to get enough of like as an athlete is like just protein all the time. I have these, these dried beef sticks that I travel with. They're great. They taste amazing for like the ingredients and how healthy it is. You wouldn't expect it to uh, be as good as it is, but I'm, I'm having those all the time to get that extra like protein kind of snack. I'll have the uh, like the the goo like packets for like um, energy. It just gives you like um, some carbs and some uh, sugar, caffeine, just like stuff to keep you going. I do a lot of Uber Eats. I'm not gonna lie. I think if Uber Eats is, is on the table, why limit myself to uh, the room service menu when I have all these all these options? I definitely like to stay in after a long day. I don't like to sometimes use the energy to like you know go out to dinner if I don't have the time. So I'm I'm a big Uber Eats guy. I'd say my go-to's for dinner, like my three ones would be like steak and like mashed potatoes is like a, a go-to. And then maybe like a Japanese getting like rice and, and chicken is another go-to. And then maybe like a Italian getting a chicken and pasta. I'd say those are like my three like go-to's before like the night before a match and stuff like that. What do you treat yourself? In and out, immediately in and out. When I won my first two, Challenger titles ever. They were in California. I celebrated it in and out um, after those ones. So then when I won Indian Wells, I felt like it was it was only right to go to In and Out as well. Cheat days always happen when I'm when I'm home and I don't really have any like upcoming tournaments. I just get back from a trip and I'm really like I'm missing all of that like, food that I just like love when I'm when I'm in the States. I might go for I might go for In and Out. I might go for Chick-fil-A. I might go from like a, for like a breakfast burrito or a McDonald's breakfast. Those are probably like my top options when it comes to a cheat day. I'm gonna go for one of those things for breakfast and then one of those things for lunch and then I'll probably try to clean it up for dinner to kind of get the, get the ball rolling on, on, on being healthy again. I think my favorite food at a tournament is Tokyo. The quality of the meat and like the steak that they can do in a, the Tokyo is, is great. Noodles, rice, kind of just the food that I like. They, they kind of they do a great job with it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.